have Cruz out front, and we have our two females back here, Bixby and Brighton. And we're gonna go ahead and do some training sessions with them. All of the sea otters are definitely unique. And that's one of the best parts about working with them is getting to know each of them on an individual basis and building that relationship with them. Depth. Good. Good job. There's a squid. Look. Good. Bump. Good. I never met a sea otter until coming to Georgia Aquarium. Stay. And I couldn't love them more. Come. There's different populations of sea otters, and the southern sea otters, they're considered an internationally endangered species. Go ahead. We have Bixby in a net because they might need different medical therapies. And so in this net behavior, we're able to give Bixby different injections. So if medically she ever needed something, good, good. This net is a great option. You did it. Water. All the way. Good. And then Lindsay, if you don't mind handing me that, she did a fantastic yeah. job, so I'm gonna there give her some enrichment. Enrichment is anything that we can add to their environment to stimulate them. So, all of this right here. And we'll go ahead and work with Brighton. Come. Good. I wanna do some of her novel behaviors because she finds them reinforcing. Pocket. Good. Show everyone what you do with this. Nose. Good. Good job. Good. Deck. Brighton came from Monterey Bay's rescue program in 2010. When they found her, she was really ill, and she wouldn't have made it out in the open ocean. And so they were able to bring her into Monterey Bay Aquarium, and there, you were able to get all better. And now you're healthy. Good and you're gonna have a new friend. You are, can I see that one too? Good. We learned about a week ago that there is a stranded sea otter pup at Monterey Bay Aquarium. This pup is going to be coming to Georgia Aquarium. Kind of like when Brighton came in a long time ago and someone went and got her. Good. When they called and told me that I was gonna help bring this pup back here, I felt like it was just one of the happiest days of my life, knowing that I was gonna give her this home so that she has a chance at life. I just can't wait. <laughs> you did so well, B. I'm so excited for today. I just like, I woke up at 3.07 and I haven't gone back to sleep. Today is a very important day. We get to bring Mara up to the habitat. Gibson, we are still working with him. He just got weaned off his bottle, so he needs a little bit more time. Moving day, Mara. You ready? Incoming. Mara, welcome to Sea Otters. Look at it. Coming out of quarantine, we're first introducing Mara to our medical pool adjacent to our sea otter habitat. And that's a space that's very accessible for us. It actually almost mimics the spaces that she's been exposed to so far. She's never been here before. That's a lot for a little sea otter to take in. She looks good. She's really comfortable. Yeah. Phase two. Mallory. We have Brighton in the habitat, and Mallory's gonna go out and point her into that smaller area. Good. Sea otters are generally fairly social, especially females. And so an animal meeting or coming across another animal is generally a pretty common occurrence and something that they're fairly adapted to handle. Brighton, water. Okay, we'll close it. <laughs> <laughs> Mara is vocalizing because I think she's taken it all in. I think this is quite a difference than her last, you know, couple weeks of life. 
Brighton is doing wonderful. What's Brighton doing? Ignoring her? Yes, I like it. I, it. It scares us when you see that first introduction. Like, please be kind. You're okay, Mara. Good. Mara and Brighton are just sniffing each other right now, checking each other out just a little bit. This is awesome. See if she'll follow you out. I'm sure she will. Good girl. Good job. Did you come over here? You got it. It's just the water. There you go. Oh, Good girl. job. Good. 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 Wow. And then Mallory, let's exit you and Good I. Good job. Good job. It's positive that she's in this space, but she's definitely not comfortable. So we're just looking for small moments when Mara gets into the water and starts exploring the space a little bit more. She has spent nearly her entire life to this point in the care of humans. And so this sort of reaction is to be expected. But she'll slowly settle in and be much more comfortable out on the habitat with Brighton.